Very quickly after leaving university, I was made a partner in one of Scotland's oldest law firms that was based in Glasgow. But after a few years, I realised it, it really wasn't for me and I wanted to do my own thing. So I started essentially on my own, trying to pay the bills and then eventually uh, wanted and believed I could start a law firm from scratch that could serve Scotland's legal needs. I know it sounds very grand, but I was young at the time and everyone said it couldn't be done. And the mantra for me was, I was going to get it done, and we have. Well, we started, uh, or I started, in a basement former sandwich shop. So it was all really quite difficult. And as I said, it was just about paying the bills. So I do remember cancelling the newspapers and the milk but over time, things got better, and it was the uh, beginnings of what is now quite beyond my best imagination, Heart in the Cloud. There was a, a series of key milestones. I suppose uh, one of the key ones was uh, meeting Martin, and he and I had been colleagues for a very long time in terms of running the business. Uh, so I'm a Scottish chartered accountant, and my early career through my training and the likes, I had a lot of interactions with law firms and a critical aspect in becoming involved in Harp and McLeod was the, the strength of relationship that was built immediately with Lorne and what was evidenced very early on to me was that there was a culture within, within the, the, the grouping of Harp and McLeod then that was willing to embrace change and develop and that's something that we focused on very very quickly as a way of building our business that differentiated us from every other law firm in Scotland. So for colleagues very importantly to me it had to be a very different experience working for Hearth and McLeod because we're a people business we engage with people and the HM family is a concept we've developed ever since the beginning and we've always said that it should be a place of opportunity for everyone and I'm very proud that that it is. And we always, as the employer of choice, hope that over time people would become a colleague of choice, that's to say the perfect colleague to work with if we were the good employer and that's where I think we are. There's been a series of breakthroughs for the firm. We did the nationalisation of Scottish Coal a long time ago. That was the biggest thing we'd ever done. And I used uh, the wealth that we created from that to uh, employ yet more people of calibre. And then being appointed to Scottish Government many years ago and Forestry Commission and others have been big steps in the progression of Harp and Cloud. There are two standout experiences that have had a huge influence and kind of confirmation for me that we are absolutely on the right track of, of what we're seeking to achieve as a business. When we were awarded at the NPF Awards in 2008, the best managed professional service firm in Europe, the, the fact that we were regarded at, at that level across the best of all European uh, professional service firms was almost like a, an affirmation. The other key aspect was an appointment with a client where we were appointed as the official legal advisors to the Commonwealth Games for Glasgow 2014. I just felt that was a huge, a huge milestone for the firm because it was about our appointment to the biggest sporting and cultural event within Scottish history. We've been going quite some time now and we've been very careful to choose our colleagues. Uh, they're of a certain character, they're nice people to work with and they're good people to engage with clients. In terms of the, the management of the firm, the same applies. And uniquely, Hart McLeod has a model where non-lawyers, including Head of Marketing, Martin, uh, Chief Executive, Head of Operations, Head of HR, are all partners in our business and we uniquely recognise that these skills are as important to our business as legal skills. We're full of people that are willing to change and adapt, which makes us a very agile business. We want to be different. I would say that Harf and McLeod has become an institution in Scotland in a very different way, but we're not part of the establishment.